say, here we are again. Once again, a wonderful teacher that is not only respected by his peers, but adored by his students. A teacher that is making a difference in students' lives is suddenly resigning due to a toxic work environment. And before I get questioned as to why I'm here speaking, I'm personally concerned because my children will be attending the high school. As a parent, I would obviously like for them to be educated in a safe and respectful environment. An environment where they see their teachers being respected and respectful to each other. Respect is one of the most important foundational factors in the development of a healthy learning environment. Now we are hearing of a, this teacher being threatened of arrest if he steps foot on school property, really? The only thing these teachers want is a respectful, peaceful working environment. I would think that anyone can see that the students are the ones affected the most here. You can't tell them you support them, you support your teachers and staff, and that you're focused on these issues when what they see every day is the opposite. It's not real. Actions speak louder than words. And as you witnessed, these kids protested, and they are here today. They're showing you in actions their discontent. There is already enough hate and chaos in the world we are in today. Why is Mr. Lopez Perez here today? I'll ask this question again. How many times does this need to happen to catch your attention? How many teachers, staff, and students need to come here and tell or retell their horrible experience in this district until it's humanly impossible for the board to ignore? What is it going to take to make it stop? None of this makes sense. This is not normal. Are you waiting on an even more serious scenario? What is the cap? Because the community is seriously worried. Why is administration so eager to impose themselves over these victims? Soon we'll have teachers thinking that Boundbrook is famous for retaliation and bullying and will, and will not want to teach in this district. If small children can understand the word stop, no, and enough, I find it hard to believe that adults do not. My wish is you revisit your investigations and aim to be fair without protecting friendships or supervisors. No one should be afraid in their workspace, let alone threatened. Thank you.